need your help. Please, you've got to help me. The role of Ruth Martin is now being played by Lee Merriweather. Where's Grandpa? He had to go back to the hospital. And Edmund? He left a short time ago. Is he coming back? Why should he? Well, I mean, he pulled out and he just left Sam. That's what you wanted. Yeah, but... I mean, I... I Maria was, you know, not wanting to let go of Sam the Wonder Boy. It seems she has. Go figure. Kelsey, you didn't give them a choice. Yeah, but I thought they'd push the court order to the max. Is that what you wanted? Well, Maria was on this whole mother power trip. Well, you're Sam's one and only mother now. Kelsey, this is a real thing. Sam deserves your very best. And you are going to give it to him. a day, every day. What did my mom get to you? Tara is worried. So am I. Well, let me save your gray hairs. I can handle Sam. Kelsey, babies need more than just handling. What do you expect? Instant Dr. Spock? I mean, where's the learning curve here? There is none. Were you a pro when you raised Uncle Phil? No, of course not. But I was older, smarter, ready. <laughs> Why did why did Edmund just take off like that? Why did he rush out of here? Kelsey, that man's heart is broken. Yeah, but he could have at least warned me. Warned you? Yeah, so my head could get there. Your head and your heart better shift gears fast. Sam's here. You've got to be able to think on your feet with a baby. Don't sweat it. 
make you look tired. Yeah, well, I am too. Look, I'm going to go and take a nice long hot bath. Well, what about Sam? What about him? Oh, it's his bedtime. Well, I just figured we'd crash together. When? When I'm done. And what does Sam do while you're lounging in a hot tub? I don't know. He'll chill. Okay, I'll take a short one. You'll take it tomorrow while he's taking his nap, if you're lucky. Grandma Sam has got to be a little bit more flexible. No, he doesn't. If he's hungry, you feed him. If he's scared, you comfort him. Okay. Crown Prince is numero uno. Oh, oh Kelsey, I, I know. I know this is a lot to take on all at once. Tell me about it. <laughs> Darling, carrying a baby for nine months is the easy part. Being a mother means giving 100% of the time. All the time. Even when you have nothing else to give. Look. Why don't you, uh, change the baby and put him down, hmm? Where? I'll get Joey's crib down from the attic. Okay, and I'll move some, some things around in Grandma's, Grandpa's uh, office. Grandpa's going to need his office. Well, well Grandma, Sam is used to his own space. Mm-hmm. That's wild, when. Okay, so where, where do we, where do we put him? Put that one. Sam's going to be sleeping in your room. With you. Has Sam been keeping you up? I thought he had a, a bit of a crazy stomach fit. Eddie? Have you seen Maria? Not since this afternoon. I... What is it? I, I gotta go. I gotta go find her. But, darling, what's wrong? I, I gotta talk to her. Well, if you think that I am letting you out into the night with the weight of the world on your shoulders, then you've lost what little sense you had. Peggy, I have to go. I'm not letting you go. Not until you tell me what's broken my boy's heart. Children, brought to you by Hidden Valley Salad Dressing. Honest to goodness. Oh, I was supposed to just drop everything and come to your rescue? It's an emergency. I'm desperate. You haven't been by Brooks, have you? No. Well, don't, but I... don't play dumb with me, Janet. You know, you had me believing everything was going fine, and you were getting it all together. I was getting... Don't lie to me! I'm not lying. Can't we work this out later, please? You've got to help her. Brooke? What have you done to her? Brooke, nothing. I swear to God, Janet, if you've hurt her. Trevor told you. Plan. Now I finally know the real Janet Green. Boy, he was crabby. 
Oh, he's overtired. Well, if he's tired, why didn't he just nod off? Because he's used to his nursery. And it's strange here, and uh, without Edmund and Maria. Well, he's bound to be frightened, especially on the first night. Well, I am whipped. <laughs> Did you check his bag? Mm-mm. What? Joe said that Edmund brought over some... And he also and delivered things. a serving Sam sermon. Oh. Well, there's not enough to get through tomorrow. So I'll deal with it tomorrow. Did you read the instructions? He came with a manual? Kelsey, the sooner you adjust to Sam's schedule, the easier it will be for him. Do I have to adjust in the next five minutes? Yes, if he needs you. Well, okay, we'll run down the cheat sheet tomorrow. I'm not going to be here. I have work to do tomorrow. Call in sick. Take a personal day. Kelsey, I have responsibilities at the hospital. What about here? What about here? I get it. The sink or swim treatment. Thanks. Kelsey, I don't mean to make this hard no, for you. No, you know, Maria was not a one-man show at Wildwind. Oh, sorry, we're fresh out of servants this week. But you're his great-grandparent. And we love him. And we love you. But you are his mother, and it is your job to care for him and to nurture him. I get the message. Well, if you want, I'll, uh, I'll make a shopping list for you. Oh, good, because we need some yogurt and some pretzels and some... For Sam, you are going to have to go to the store tomorrow. That's fine. What time do you get off work? I've got a great idea. Why don't you shop while we're at work? Grandma, I can't lug Sam around super safe. Women do it all the time. Well, can't we get a sitter? If you want a sitter, it's your job to call and find one. Do you, do you know what to ask? Yeah, if they're available. Kelsey, you can't let just anyone take care of Sam. I'll figure it out. You do not do one thing. You don't make a move without considering Sam first. Grandma, I feel like a prisoner. His welfare comes first, young lady. I don't need another lecture. Kelsey, this is too big to take lightly. I know. I'm not taking it lightly. I can do this. <laughs> this is it. Someday, huh? Oh, unbelievable. Tell me again. We will have golden years. That is the rumor. Think we can last? Let's do our darndest. <laughs> What are you saying? Who's gone? My boy. 